Hi everybody, this is Sherry from Succulent Babies. I am also on Facebook on Succulent Babies. I wanted to share my baby succulents with you today. Um, I wanted to also give you some care tips, which I think are very important for you to have regarding these succulents. Water. When it comes to watering your succulents, the soil should be completely dry. As you can see, these are stem cuttings but they are growing stem roots, which are called aerial roots. So succulents are a flesh leaf of water and they need to have plenty of water to be kept alive. But you should only water them when the soil is completely dry. So you should not drench the soil too much. Don't use a spray bottle, just drench the soil. If you use a spray bottle on succulents, what happens is it creates a fungus spots, which is edemia on plants, and you don't want to do that at all. Underwatering plants have a limp, wrinkled kind of leaf that you could tell that the succulent itself is not doing so well. So that means that the water that you've given it is too much water. If you overwater them, they're mushy and they're transparent looking leaves. You would increase your watering frequency in summer and reduce your watering frequency in winter. Let's talk about light. Light is the most important thing that a succulent needs. They like full light or partial sun. Indirect sun, if it's over 80 degrees, is really, really something you should be considering when it comes to taking care of your succulents for they can get some burns. So when outdoors, afternoon, afternoon shade is preferred, especially in summer. When indoors, place the succulents by a sunny window or under some grow lights. Stretching, greening, and fading means that the plant needs more light. Now you can see this is a miniature little bowl that I have and it's about 2.2 in size and these are baby succulents growing inside with a miniature little watering can and they're not really reaching out but they are growing which is a fantastic thing to do. So the temperature and the seasons have an effect as well. Hardy succulents which are zones 4 through 6 survive sub-zero temperatures and will grow outdoors year-round in most areas. And also soft succulents, which are in zone 8 to 10, they need the protection from the frost and can overwinter indoors. Let's talk about the soil and the fertilizer. Always plant in a gritty, well-draining soil. You could use low nitrogen at 5 to 10 to 10 medium, and a fertilizer can be used to encourage growth. I would encourage fertilizing during the growing season, usually summer and spring. This is an alpine. When you're transplanting and repotting your succulent, succulent stem cuttings or your succulent plants, transport and transplant them immediately or keep them in the original container that you actually have. And also to transplant, remove the plant from the container, loosen the root ball, and plant in a hole deep enough to cover the root ball. You should wait one to two days to water because containers and drainage holes are also recommended, so please make sure that that is a very important thing to know. If you have dead or broken leaves on your plants, naturally some wilt and die, and these can be pulled off at any time. The theme here is to make them healthy, make sure that they keep healthy, and that they don't succumb sorry, to any kind of rot or bacteria or fungus or just die disease. Let's talk about pests. Mealybugs and aphids are the most common pests. Both are easily removed with the mild soapy water or you could use alcohol. Spray the plants daily until the bugs are gone. This is Sherry from Succulent Babies and I want to thank you so much for being on my channel. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you would like to join my Facebook group, please subscribe to Succulent Babies on Facebook. I also have a society group called Succulent Babies Society Group, and that is also on Facebook. We meet once a month. At this time, because of COVID-19, we are doing online live feeds monthly. So please join, and I look forward to seeing you. And every day I will have a new video for you. Thanks so much.